What's up, people? It's your boy Jatuan. I'm here today in Cripple Space Program. What you're seeing here before you is Photon, which is a new craft of mine that is meant to use these boosters as a as drop tanks and to get up to orbit. Uh, my original intent was to make this into an SSTO. But after doing some balancing, I realized that this craft has a special ability. It kind of lands itself, which is really cool. You just get it at the right angle and then you can walk away from the controls which is pretty cool because I like to see things with more automation so I'm gonna try to do this real quick uh, hopefully we can fire this straight down the middle of the lane here all right should be good there all right ready three two one go so first thing I need to do is get up to speed and then do a nice gentle lift off Nice gentle lift off. Away from the light. Alright, wheels up. We're shooting to outer space. Right off the back, we are going to be going insanely fast. And this is going to help us immensely. As uh, we don't have very much fuel on here to make orbit. So we need to get as high up into the atmo as we can before we kick anything over so first things first i need to get my apoapsis up to around seventy-five thousand, and then i'm gonna cut straight forward and start to chew away at my periapsis all right and we're good flattening out a bit all right yep there it goes oh it didn't last very long did it <laughs> But I think that should be good. We got pretty good performance out of that. I probably could have been a bit more aggressive on the controls to do that. But nonetheless, it still worked out pretty dang well for us. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. Bye, my friends. Carry on, carry on. Nothing really matters. Holy crap. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> there you go right there the triangle well that worked out really well all right where are we at okay doing pretty good we need to go pro grade engines up and and zero throttled out so they are just going to carry on to wherever they may roam wherever they may wander Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to we need to fire our engines. Full throttleage. <laughs> Whoops! I got a little carried away and started running my mouth. And then when that happens, things tend to go horribly for me. So anyhow, we are pushing hard and hopefully we'll be able to still make orbit. We gotta get around two thousand meters per second out here, so we should be okay. Was that on my screen? That is totally not. I, I, <laughs> I thought that was like some uh, a scatter effect, but clearly it's just dirt on my screen. That's really disgusting. <laughs> okay, so where are we at? We're still doing pretty good. Let's flatten this out some. Ooh, ooh, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Alright, and it's going to be a close one. I screwed this all up, didn't I? Yes, I did! Alright, let me try this again. <laughs> Come on, upward, upward, upward. Whoa! <laughs> that works. This time I'm not going to be I'm not going to be so aggressive on my incline. My angle of attack is going to be a little less because I'm going to try to push out further for my periapsis already, so I don't go as high with these boosters. So we're going to try to break down our periapsis as much as possible. I know we'll be able to get to 75. I'm pretty confident. We have two big tail boosters. What's the worst thing that can happen here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, 
And flattening out some more, flattening out some more. We're going to spend a little time in the upper atmosphere. 75, flattening out some more. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to ride. We're going to ride these out as long as they have some forward momentum. All right. Not bad. A lot better than what I previously did. And... We should be easily able to do this as long as I don't screw this up, which I probably will. No guarantees. <laughs> All right, so we gotta get high enough up so I can ditch these things until I don't need them anymore. And six, six, seven, seventy. All right, so I felt a kick over. There we go. All right, so we need to get about 20 to about 10 to 20 to 10, 10, 20 seconds out and ditch these. Make sure we're going pro grade. Engines are full throttle. Engines engaged. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful! It's working. It's working. All right, so we've got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing, and I'm pretty sure we'll barely be able to make it. I think last time I was in, in the stream, I was able to do this, and I ended up with about 30 units of fuel left. Um, so it gave me just enough to do my re-entry and a gentle touchdown with zero fuel. So it's really balanced out pretty well for zero fuel landings. So. I'm going to probably do a massive burn on the way back in just to make sure I'm completely out of fuel on the way back in. All right. Here we go. 75. Woo! And we have a lot more fuel than I had last time. That was an effective launch. Very nice. So we still have... 373 meters per second left of delta V. So, <laughs> if you're wondering where I'm getting all my power from, in here, in this passenger door, and I believe this is coming from Airplanes Plus, you can hit open here, and boop, you see we have a little hidden compartment. This is actually a little cargo bay, It's what I'm using it as, and it's great for storing all of your RTGs, which is absolutely wonderful for me uh so we're gonna come all the way around and we're gonna try to hopefully land this bird back we are really close in orbit around this other around or aren't we auric that's my or my or satellite okay so we're shooting for here as our target and we're gonna try to make this happen no guarantees <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're coming up on it and i'm gonna do a massive a massive retro burn so we need to go facing here come back out preparing for a retro burn and i want to keep at least 30 units of fuel here but i also want to make sure that we're getting close to this so <laughs> All right, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. That's probably going to bring us, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to keep it right there. So right now we need to come back forward. And here's where the problem is. I have one radiator. That's the only change I've made from, from the live stream to now is adding one radiator. And we need to pancake out like a son of a gun to make sure that we don't explode. So this should be entertaining because we potentially could explode. Uh, the heating effect is brutal, but we survived last time. I'm pretty sure we'll survive this time, and we're probably going to cut really short and end up in the water. But we have quite a bit of fuel on here, so I'm not overly concerned with that right now. Okay. So here we go. Slight heating going. 
and this is where we need to we are going to soon begin to pancake ourselves out when things start to heat up a little red we're going to pancake out and it should be able to hold that angle because right now we're coming in really fast so let's pancake this out and we're going to do an extreme pancake so we're going to hold this up as high as we can and we're going to be coming in really steep and hope that this one radiator is able to do its thing all right this is really intense <laughs> this is really intense right now we're at 41 come on hold it together hold it together and you know what I'm doing right now since I still have it pointing at prograde I am allowing it to actually balance itself back out because I'm fighting it and it's fighting me and we balance out right there in the middle so we can severely pancake this craft out and we are almost all the way through Oh, come on, a little further, little further, little further, and we can stop doing this ridiculous maneuver to punch through. I've usually just punched straight through. I'm usually just on beast mode, and I don't care, but this time around, there we go. There we go. We're good. We are good. I I'm pretty sure we're good. At least I think we're cool enough, so it won't matter, at least. All right, so let's see. Our abladers aren't too bad. I actually have a secondary ablader here, and it's not even touched. So, what's our radiator looking like? 17%. Not bad for a re-entry. Not bad at all. And looks like we are right on freaking target. <laughs> I can't say that that happens very often for me, but dang, it just happened to work out perfectly right there. That's awesome, and I will take it. <laughs> All right, so we are continuing on. We're just going to glide on over to base, and <laughs> wow. That was just like a stroke of luck and just randomly did everything and it all just happened to work out. Anyhow, blah, blah, blah. We want to see this thing land. Now, I shouldn't have to actually land it uh, because if you get it slow enough, which is around 30-ish meters per second, it actually will land itself. Are you still trying to overheat on me? Are you still trying to overheat on me? You stop it. You, 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 we're almost through. So chill out, homie. Chill out, homie. <laughs> it should start dropping here in a few seconds. There it goes. All right, it's dropping back down. We're good. We're good from here. So coming in hot. Uh, but yeah, if I slow it down to around 30 something meters per second, it will actually, it has enough torque to glide itself in with the amount of lift that it has on it. So I'm pretty confident I've done it twice so far. The first time I bounced the engine by mistake. And so yeah, well, the engine got destroyed, but the rest of the craft survived. But it was pretty fantastic nonetheless. And we're going to try to do this. We're going to try to do it. Whoa, big G's. Big G's right there. <laughs> I need you to stop with the stability assist. All right, because we need to glide ever so carefully over this. So I'm going to go ahead and what mode? We're in closed. I need to toggle over to air breathing, kick up my engines a bit so we can make it over the mountains at least. Oh my god, that is way too close to the mountains for any Kerbal to be flying after re-entry. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. 
It actually has some pretty good speed. That is some nice survivability out of a little aircraft like this. I The first time I created this and dropped engines on it, it failed to make it to orbit. The second time, it failed to make it to orbit. And then that third time, I just strapped those SRBs on there and, and it, it made made it to orbit and then back. And I was really thrilled all that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to burn off some more of this fuel and we're going to get we're going to hopefully glide back to base and during that glide I need to get down to around 30 meters per second once I'm around 30 meters per second which I just quick save right there just in case once I'm around 30 meters per second it should be able to get that perfect angle of attack and then glide on in just in case I'm pulling way up uh, because I need to burn off the last of this fuel and this is gonna be a long glide on in we should be fine though we're probably not gonna nail the let the runway but we should at least get close it's pretty sweet it has a really good glide time to it though so we're gonna have a little a little fun gliding in a long glide in <laughs> <laughs> all right so i guess i will return actually before we do all that so the next thing we're doing um it started it started on wednesday yesterday uh well you're watching this friday but i recorded it on thursday so wednesday it began we're doing a robotics race the robotics race means you need to create your own robot and using the grand prix mod you can race it and you can see there's a monolith track uh, that track is what you see all the way over you can't say it from hair <laughs> it's over here in the distance there's another track so that's track is the one we're going to end up using now that track what it gives you what it gives you it gives you a nice little oval that you can take your robot and walk like a little crazy uh mech on and you you can pretty what you're trying to do is you get trying to get your fastest loop in how fast can you go through that entire track it's really easy but making your own balanced fast robot is a little difficult so so far i'm still devising all the rules and everything but uh, you have to make your own mech. You can't use anyone else's. You have to make your own mechanisms for it using Inferno Robotics and make your own running mech. Now, you can be bipedal. The bipedals and the quad pedal, the, the, the quads, they'll have their own two uh, their own two categories. So if you have a really fast uh, a really fast quad, you're not going to be going against a really fast bipedal. It's just not quite fair because some of the, the quads are can get up really fast because you're just using the rotation versus an actual walking movement that uh, the bipedals have a bit more rigid rigidity to them and there's a lot of complications with getting it to walk that that doesn't look like a like a gimp little baby <laughs> trying to walk it's not a the, the little baby doesn't know how to walk they're just like look i'm doing a thing and everybody's cheering and so they walk but um so yeah that's that's what we're doing we're doing a little race thing another race but this one's really close by it's really easy you can even select the monolith raceway as the launch pad so you just pop right in there and you just start your walking and get your fastest route in once you get your fastest route in then we're going to start to build from there because the next co car, next part of that competition is going to be to build some robotic arms to then go on your robot and then it's the the last part is going to be moving an item the fastest from one spot to another so this is going to be really interesting really fun it's going to challenge you a bit some things you probably haven't even tried yet some things some of the more complex builders have done but I'm pretty sure everybody here, once we go through the streams, will have a concept, the idea of how they can also build their own mech. And by the time we're done, we're gonna have all, all of us are gonna have a mech that can walk around, grab something, and put it somewhere else. And that can be awesome because you can use that in your moon bases and such, and and have like a newfangled thing to play with. Sounds really cool. 
I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. We're also approaching 10,000. Oh my god, 10,000 subscribers is a lot farther than I thought this channel would ever get. Uh, so we're, we need to start thinking about what we want to do for 10,000. Uh, the idea has come up a few times that we should probably go and do a uh, do a, uh, a multiplayer game. I am 100% down for that. There is a lot of multiplayer games out there. You guys decide on what game you would like to try and uh, jump on Discord and let us all know. Because I have a Discord now, if you didn't know. Don't you know, I have a Discord. And um, I'm, still, I'm still learning how to use it. But we have it. <laughs> All right, so I need to, I need to get some speed gone. Like badly, I need to get some speed gone. Uh, because otherwise, this thing's not gonna land itself. So I need to come down, and I'm gonna start coming back and forth, and hopefully get slow enough so that this thing will land. All right, here we go, here we go, doing pretty good, pretty good, still pretty good, brakes are, brakes are go, all right, so now what I need to do is angle this thing just right, well, I need to come down some more still, and then... I can let's flare up a bit here back and forth back and forth all right we're going more than slow enough now and I can now oh god oh. okay here it goes <laughs> I was just trying to take my hands off the control so you can see it land but there you go. That is the little aircraft that could. It's a little fantastic aircraft. And I am always surprised when I make a craft that's almost completely stock and it works this well. So that is really fantastic and I'm really glad to see it worked out. So I will try to drop this on Kerbal X. I will try to remind myself to drop this on Kerbal X. But until then, check out the live stream. It shows you how to build a quad mech. And it's really easy once you get the hang of it. And once you get the hang of it, it just opens all sorts of doors. It's really just about balancing and adjusting your rototrons so that way it will walk properly. Kind of just like that. D D D. It's really cool that you get it going. Anyhow, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, drop me in a comment, let me know what you think. Let's push our way to 10,000. Let's find out what games you guys want to play. We're trying to find a free game so everyone can jump in and we'll probably jump on a weekend. Find some nice neutral time for everyone to, so that they can jump in and play. And hopefully I will catch you guys in the next one. Till then, catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Jaquan, I'm out. Peace. That freaking airplane. Sick, dude.